Hey people, Aziz Army here, back with the next part of my Dark Souls 3 replay on PS5. So last time uh, we took out the big massive swamp after finishing off um, the uh, the Deacons of the Deep, uh, and now we're ready to head into the catacombs. Um, I just realised as well, like why Gale wasn't showing in my world as well when we were in the Cathedral of the Deep. Um, Basically, when I downloaded, I did put it on to download everything, but for whatever reason, it decided not to download um, the Ashes of uh, Ariandel and um, the Ring City, so I've now had to put those on to download. So, because I'm not too sure what level you're supposed to be when you, um, when you do those DLCs, so like, the Ring City is definitely endgame. The Ashes of Ariandel. I think that's something that you probably want to do earlier. So. I've got that on to download and. It shouldn't take too long. I just need to decide when I'm actually going to do it. Something else I realised as well is I was thinking. Oh, accidental emote. Um. Like why this move wasn't that long, but I remember then that any move like that, which just the L2 and there's no options, like it doesn't go into a stance. If you press L2 or your special button, whatever console you're playing on, then you use R2 or your um, your heavy attack button. It'll actually extend the ability. So you can basically keep going with that attack until you run out of stamina. Uh, yeah, and that's you too, that. Um, Ashes of Ariandel is actually already <laughs> just installed. Uh, literally, it was on like for less than five minutes. I'm assuming um, with these games, most of the time the content is already there. It's just a case of... You just need to enable it, basically. I'm wondering what's the best way to go here, whether I was better off just dropping down low straight away. So I know there's a chest, etc. down there. The skeletons that don't die are annoying. Don't do the bloody whirlwind attack that that one just did on me. I don't know how else to describe it. God. It's quite funny with this great sword actually that it's just knocking them down instantly, but it is making it take it longer to kill them, so that is slightly annoying. At least we can finish them off before they get up. I suppose that's one thing. Oh my days. Okay, well that wasn't any bad. Okay. Let's go through the secret wall. Basically, you can come straight to this fart. This fart? <laughs> this part is if you just roll off the bridge onto that, um, onto that little pillar there. Bye bye. Okay. Um, another pyromancy tome. Nice. Again, it's similar with um, the Paramancer as it is to the woman with the faith. Basically, with the Paramancer, he will just actually refuse to take certain tomes because they're too dark for him. Whereas she will take them and be corrupted. Um, yeah. Basically, there's an enemy um, as you're going towards the giant boss. Yorn, that's his name. Just so poor with na remembering names, it's so bad. Yeah, but basically, Yorm, um, on the way there, 
Um, there's a woman in a cell, and if you free her... Ow. No. Ah! Don't bleed me. Yeah, and if you free her, you can actually give her the dark um, faith tomes as well as the dark pyromancy tomes. So this is the way that we didn't go down. Oh, where's my jumping attack? Okay, well the... Uh... <laughs> Stays worked in my favour then, and I didn't get hit. Okay, here's my jumping attack. Yeah. Those guys can actually drop their weapons, and they're they're pretty decent. Give me all the tad night. Okay. So there's a. Crystal lizard down here. Just wondering. Let me quickly stick my claymore on for this. Because it's easier with the overhead attacks. Ow. Stop shooting me. It's not polite. Okay, here's Anne-Marie. She's looking oh, for Horace. Oh, have you to my ship? I'm not... Yes, I hardly broke. Oh. If you hurt, I remain in and will lay prism stones. Please send him my made of flame. Okay. So basically, um, the secret area underneath the catacombs. Um, you need to find Horace down there, and then you need to tell Anne-Marie. She will move, so you don't have to come all the way back here. Now we need to run. Ah. Okay, now what you want to do is obviously take your time, get into the next bonfire, as you would normally. Um, but what you want to do is when you get to the next bonfire, oh, there's the Ring City downloaded as well. Yeah, when you get to the next bonfire, which is just on the other side of this fence. Okay, that was stupidly quickly. I was going to say that, that basically the whole time while you're running around this area we're about to go into, um, by the time you get round to the bonfire, it should be about ready to um, explode like it did. And then you get the um, bone uh, dust. But yeah. Don't know whether that's something to do with 60 FPS. Where it's... Um, doing more damage to the, the boulder than it normally would, but I'll take it. Why are you alive again so many times? Okay, this is like one of the more annoying throwable items, because it just keeps tracking you. Stop it, you stupid skeleton. Okay, be very careful here, because basically certain ones of these pots, I think it's the ones with the lids on, um, will explode and do that same move that we were just being attacked with, so it's pretty good that we got a thrusting attack here. Poke! On the way up! Nope! 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 Okay, this is a pretty interesting ring. We might as well stick this on for now because we haven't got anything better. Um, so, yeah, it boosts your dexterity by three um, and it also obscures your roll. 
so we can do invisible rolls with this bad boy on. I was tempted just to stick the uh, Havel's ring on and just put something a bit beefier on armor wise, but this is a bit more fun. It'll give us more damage as well with this sword, so. Ah! Oh wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, game. <gasps> no, the trap. <laughs> ah. The trap that I purposely avoided. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well we need to be embered coming down here as well because there is an invader, so let's just stick this straight back on. There, luckily there's a shortcut now that we've done all the main bits we wanted to do. Is that a main archer? It was sniping us. He's another annoying archer. That's a, uh, a phantom of someone else using the same sword. Funny. Why did you have to knock that guy straight in here? I think if you're lucky and you kill that guy, you can actually get his hat. I don't know why you'd want his hat, but it's a thing. Stop chasing me and coming back to life. Oh! Through his bloody thing. Stop tossing that stuff. Okay, I'm just clearing those guys just in case we have to back off here because there's more than one of these uh, these guys by here. They are annoying. Which one of you is throwing that stuff? Oh my god. Is it you? It is you. And there's also bloody pots for that stuff in as well. Wow! This is like a nightmare. I never know that to throw this stuff. Crap. Oh my god. I've been stunlocked to death. Run! Don't run over the trap. Okay, you run over the trap, do this. Oh man. I was hoping to get him um, hit by the arrows then. That is something you can do. Stop doing that annoying attack. Jeez Louise. That was terrible. There we go. We got one of them with the arrows then. Take that. Too slow to get a little past. I'm pretty sure these guys can drop large Titanite. Okay, let's go grab this. As you come here, another one of these is going to start off. Way large tight knife. Okay, let's 
start this bad boy off. Yeah, I don't think there's actually a way to weaken those things either. I don't think, like, even with this <laughs> longest of uh, great swords, you can't really hit them. If you, like, if you touch them, then... Come on, rats. Come here. Yeah, if you try and touch that thing to hit to like maybe weaken it, um, then you just get smacked back. Oh, the reach on this sword is just awesome. I right, gotta be careful. This, oh, I would say with this bit, it's kind of just weaving and out. There's gonna be a lot of the bloody blob things. It's one of them. Way. There's also bone wheels. Uh, I believe they add, they put it in the game as well, so you can also get the bone wheel shields in uh, Dark Souls 3. So, at the sprint, bait one of these at a time, that would be nice. Nice if they get stuck. Let me get a pre hit. Ooh. Oh, blob senpai, don't do me like this. Oh my god, how am I missing these things? They're like the longest bloody story. Right, you are dead. Now it's time for you. Where do you keep going? Oh my god. This is... annoying. This is... super annoying. Oh, to be honest, if I use my shield, this would probably be ten times easier. Wow, that sound effect is not fun. Did I actually get a drop one of those bone wheels then? We got the bone wheel shield, oh my god. It's pretty nuts as well, the ability on it. I think it depends on what you do. Um, yeah, it's just got, it's got a strike, but I, I think it depends on what hand you put it in, but you can make it spin as well. Um, which is pretty cool. See, this bulb the stars not destroyed. Um, basically, this one, when it does blow up, I think it drops a gem of some sorts. Here. Keep your cookery to yourself. Ah, my backstab. And then die. Okay, get plenty of uh, oh, <laughs> do the jump for joy again. Wonderful. So let's go round here. Uh, kill the lizard and then open the gate. Fire gem. You can sneak up on this guy. Just knock him off. Yeah, I think if you do a back attack on him, it just basically boots him off the edge. Okay, so now we've rested, Anri has moved up there. this gate for a very small shortcut. No. You guys are backing off. Okay. Just need to know if you're going to follow me because I'm about to fight an invader. Right 
here he comes. Fume night guy. Um, I think one of the fights he drops the sword and the other one he'll uh, drop a ring. Just gotta remember which is which. Ooh. So lucky. Oh, the shield bash. Oh, man. Yeah, don't take this guy lightly. He's got a lot of health. And if he hits you with that thing, you're in trouble. Super annoying now. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Oh, going for his special move. Oh, yeah, he's got hyper armor doing that. I think it's just the stamp that gets the hyper armor as well, so that you can still interrupt them. Not too far into their move. There we go. Yeah, so the ring that time, I think if you, when you kill him again, um, when do you kill him again? He's down there. The next area we go to? How is this boulder still not blown up? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I came back as well because there's a little upstairs bit as well. Ugh, I didn't realize it was one of you guys right there. These guys are nice to deal with. Especially if there's more than one. You kind of forget that these guys can pull out a bow. They don't do it that often. I've been a lot of Carthus Rouge for me. Basically, uh, that can add bleed to your weapons, um, and then it'll stack as well if you've got a weapon that already bleeds. So what you'll see is a lot of people who do. Um, level one they'll maybe farm the wardens or I think there's one of the tip twin blades depends on what rings you've got uh, you can you can you can equip some twin blades or maybe a curve sword I think it might be actually the Carthus curve sword the ones that the um, the big guys were using what I don't think these guys could get back up huh? it was just the uh, Normal skeletons. Okay, he dropped items twice in a row then. Didn't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's finally blown up. So yeah, randomly there's a crab inside it. Just because. Why not? And then you get a dark gem. Which is the first one you can get, so if you are going to do a, uh, a dark magic build, and it's worth hanging around for. Um, do we just go straight to Walnir, or do we get some healing first? Uh, I haven't got an Esther Shard anyway. So I won't go back to Firelink just yet. I've got another Bone Dust though. It's a shame you can't um, burn it anyway, other than the first Bonfire and Firelink. Same on um, Dark Souls 2 though, and obviously in Dark Souls 1 you have to actually interact with a Firekeeper, so it's not that surprising. Okay, well we can just run straight through now, 
not deal with any of the annoying guys. Uh, then what we do is we run around to here. Talk to Anri quickly. Oh, yes. Okay, so we say no. And then look, if when you jump down here, you can actually see him. That's him right there. Uh, so basically, once you've killed him, just to come back up and tell her. Where's the rest of you skeleton buddies? Why didn't they come? Or did they just go up there instead? There we go. So that's the way down to that area. Um, I think we'll go and kill Walnia first, though. Wow, we're going to summon signs for this boss. <laughs> it's a pretty easy boss if you want to farm for some souls to help out with. I suppose. If we do this, we can go back and we can send Grey Rat out again. And then we'll go down to the, uh, to the lake. I think Smoldering Lake is called. So, another tome here. I think this is one of the cursed ones. Nope, oh, not good, not good, not good. We might be dead here. Oh my god. Straight off with the bloody poison gas. Basically, if he starts moving up, um, then all everything behind him is basically counts as being in the gas as well. So, no dice, I'm afraid. each attempt we get the extra 78 souls <laughs> um right where are you all skeletons why aren't you chasing me right here they come wow there's a lot of them I think the way that most people figure that out is be by being very observant with the um, with the trailers. So before the game released, that was actually in one of the trailers, um, and then that is what obviously led people to um, go down and find the smoldering lake. Obviously, that um, drop that I did as well by Anri that would also obviously prompt you if you think, oh, there's Horace there, and uh, he's got some lovely items by him. I wonder how I get there. Gas moves. Way I rolled an attack. Right, don't 
sword out. This is wonderful RNG we're getting in this fight. No, this pulls weapons out. Just gonna leave more skeletons. There we go. Get back down there and pull. No, he's moving up. Moving up. Now he's got his sword. It's actually a, like a really nice sword um, for a faith build, the holy sword. Uh, any chance you can put your hand down so I can actually hit your wrist. Okay, so let's actually, oh yeah, we need to go into the Boreal Valley, I think, or at least get to the start of it. And then we can send Grey, uh, Grey Rat out. So we've got this bonfire here, which is here for a reason. Do you think, oh, that's, that's too quick. Probably is too quick, to be honest. They could have just not put the one on the boss room, to be fair. Um, but yeah, the reason that one is the just before you get to the next one, it's because of this thing. Oh, wow! Stagger much? Oh wow! I didn't realize it could <laughs> do that. <laughs> good to kill him there because if you don't kill him there, as soon as you get down onto the lake, which you have to cross down there, he will jump off the bridge and chase you down there. So, much better to kill him while he's here. Uh, we need to go and speak to Cirrus as well because she should get a summon sign that appears on the bridge. There we go. So if we didn't have um, that doll from the deep, then that gate would block us, <laughs> and you—I think that's basically why that creature is there, because uh, he would attack you, and you'd just basically be stuck. And you'd be like, "Oh shoot, maybe I should go back." So, fire link. Let's go and burn our bone dust. Uh, 
Uh, we've got some uh -huh. ashes for you. Ashen. And then we can speak to Grey Rat. Oh, if the party. Mmm. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Do speak to the Paramancer. Uh -huh. Well, this is fat. <laughs> I'm afraid I, this, I Yeah, see, so this one he won't actually accept. He's got a fair few pyromancies now, though. Do not be gone. What? Have we got enough that large Titanite? Nope. How many did we need? One. Day, That's careful. annoying. Ah. Uh, what do you sell now? Lots of stuff. Oh, she sells the kukuris now. Not a uh, large titanite though, which would be awesome. Walnia's crown and the sage's hat. So, we just want to sell some stuff a minute. Ashen one. Well, very well then. Okay, uh... Okay, I think we'll do that, and then, because basically I don't think our vitality will really need to increase much more than 20, so that's basically done for now. Um, we can just get our Vigor up to 30. Already level 53, nice. Okay, so we're just going to fast travel now back to the High Walnia bonfire. And I think that what we'll do is we'll actually um, make our way down to the Smoldron Lake. Um, and then we'll wrap it up. Like, I know the last couple of episodes have been pretty long, so... At least if we do this, it's not too bad. And we'll have the whole of the Smoldron Lake to deal with next time. Because also what I want to do is... We've got to do the lake, then we've got to go back up to Anri, tell Anri what's going on. Um, I think Grey Rat may return as well, because basically, the reason I, I did that first, instead of going um, to the Smoldron Lake, then sending him out, uh, was because I think it's dependent on completing the boss. I don't think it matters which boss, so he may actually return by the time that we've done the boss for this area. Um, okay, the bonfire isn't immediate anyway, so we've got this guy down here. Um, what you can do is you can attack the Mimic um, and you can get those two to aggro on each other and they will actually fight come on Mimic here it comes it's good to do this because basically Obviously, they, they, well, they can both kill each other very, very quickly, to be fair. So, Mimic is down. Um, I think you got a decent kick off on him as well. This guy's not messing about. No, he didn't really do any damage, unfortunately. It's a perfect attack for us to capture. Uh, Explosion. Don't be afraid to heal a lot in this fight because um, the bonfire is literally just down the corner. Can you explode a bit? Yep. get from the Mimic, get his soul as well. Um, I think with that soul you can buy his axe. I think maybe a ring as well. I'm not 100%. Wait, there's the large Titanite that we wanted. At this point now, to be honest, let's just leg it. 
grab this item down here. I believe this is, yeah, some more another pyromancy ring, and also um, that hat. I think it may boost your pyromancy. Like this. That will be able to rest. Will we be able to rest? We can rest. Haha. -ha. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna pop back to Firelink and obviously level up my great sword. Uh, and then we will deal with the smoldering uh, lake in the next episode. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, like the video, subscribe for more, and I will catch you in the next one.